Everybody plays a purpose. Everybody plays a role. Everybody has a part. We are all actors in the greatest story ever told. That's right. That's right. You're part of it. Me too. Why do you think I've been smiling again? And that's what happens on this channel. You want to be mean? I'll run you off. I don't want to have. I want nothing to do with that crap. I've let that go my whole life. I'm not doing it no more. It's time to stand up. Michael's gonna stand soon. I'm telling you guys about him. I'm letting you know. Guys, we can't ever stop forgetting to train. So we really let's train. It's a big sea. The waters are rough. It's a huge sea. A 503 C. Understand? Savvy? Maybe it's time for me to get Jack back out. You want Jack back? You want to see him again? I told you guys in the last video about, um, you know, in the in the animal kingdom, you know, it's not really the way that way in dogs. Female, male, and especially in American bullies, they're all beautiful for real. But in a lot of species, the male is more beautiful. Welcome back to the Wormwood. Today I am doing fifth and final. <laughs> Um, so, yes, I told you guys from the start, Wormwood is one of the trickiest. We got the holes filled today. It's real hard to see them, but I, I like, here's one. You won't see it hardly when it's finished. Uh, where's the other one? Here's one. Okay. And then I filled in the side and, and touched it up. So, I'm not going to show it to you, show it to you, because then you'll see it when it's finished. But if I just kind of show it to you like this, when it's done, you won't ever see those things. The last son told you that if you're thirsty, come drink, right? Well... Same thing, dogs. If you guys are thirsty, you know, we've, we've had a lot of scraps that can make you, you know, a little dry here and there. So, uh, yeah, let's fill it back up. Come drink. Oh, uh, you know, you, say, you may say that it's overflowing. I'm saying that that's getting the pollutants out of the bowl right now. Sometimes you got to flood it down a little bit so that you're left with the clean water. Ah. You're going to have to like and subscribe and hit all for notifications so that you don't miss upcoming videos. I don't have a planned schedule. I don't have anything written down. I truly do just do these videos day by day, however it tends to fall. Okay. Um, I don't plan things out completely. Um, I think about something a little bit and I just kind of lay it on the table. So I've been told a lot of stuff and I've waited quite a while to tell these things, but I see where stuff is going and the story made a lot of sense to me. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. I'm not asking for your opinion. I'm telling you what I've heard. Okay. There are a thousand theories out there so you can go have fun with those. I'm telling you, well, it's not my story. It's the story that was given to me. Okay. Well, that's what real dogs do. Maybe you have one of those, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You have one of those dogs that can't do Yeah. So what I did today, I sanded all the sides. I removed all the drips. I sanded the top. As you see, there is nothing shining. So I sanded it very well since we had so many issues with the holes and we got those filled. Um, we should be good to go. So I'm going to set up, do final coat. I'm not going to show you guys. You've already seen enough of how it's done, but I will show you when it's finished. Stay tuned. Well, I've been <clears throat> not knowing how to end this table video this wormwood and gall so I figured tonight I'm just gonna set it on fire not the table but I'm just gonna set it on fire guys um, I was led to Deuteronomy 29 and 30 and I'm gonna finish up this table by reading those entire chapters I highly recommend that you guys listen and really take it into your heart because we're nearing a time when, well, you're running out of time. Well, now that we've got some uh, water to drink, you know, it's probably time that you guys get some bread, some meat, so you don't starve to death. Uh, <laughs> some of you suck it down too quick and you just choke on it. Yeah, you're a buster. <laughs> you're a buster. That is all. Don't! I, I didn't understand what I've been doing. Um, nor do I. The things that I do are not of my own. They are the Father in me, understand? The Spirit. So, 
Let's go set it on fire. Deuteronomy 29 and Deuteronomy 30 in full. All of the wormwood and gall. Huh. And Miss Ripley. Ellie the boss. Knee high. Our good old husky Mika. And the asshole Loso in the back. He's the old man in the group. Ellie, Ellie and Loso are pretty close in age. I'm not sure which one's older, but this is my pack. Welcome to my yard. Welcome to the channel. If you hadn't already been seeing what's going on, I do recommend that you click on the um, click on my channel, go to playlists, and click on Tall Tale with Jack's Arrow, and it's going to have a series of videos. Go to um, you know, publish it and go from the oldest video first and you can just hit play and catch up on everything that's been going on because if you're behind if you haven't started racing you better catch up and i'm going to try to do you know do it in a way that you guys can soak it up with some fun at the same time because it is deep it's dark sometimes um, it can help but it can hurt if you understand there's always a light in the dark if many of you are in the dark and so many are um, even though they think they're righteous they're not and they're going to judge and kill and do so much that they should not do and uh, man you guys don't have to believe me I'm you know I'm just here to tell you that's all whether you like it or not it, it doesn't change anything you know I never asked for anyone's opinion ever truly I don't mind I really don't but if you give them just, man, be respectful about it if you're respectful to me I'll be respectful to you if you come at me you know, sideways. Ah, uh, well, I, uh, you know, I I do my best to turn the ch turn the cheek and turn the other cheek and so on. But man, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think. Sorry, but I'm not. Understand? It's called respect, guys. We all should be respecting and loving one another, even if you don't agree. That doesn't mean your opinion is any better. Because until you can prove everything, it's purely a belief and an opinion. I'm told that's what it will kind of be like. The men will dress up for their women, their soulmates. The men will have perfect love, and the women will have desire. Where it's the opposite right now. It's the complete opposite. And that's because that's what Lucifer did. She turned all the women against the men. You know, funny thing, uh, I was talking to uh, a friend. He was giving me some truth. And we find a lot of truth together, it seems. So, uh, you know, he had told me about the show Highway to Heaven. And, we, you know, we looked at uh, a lot of stuff. And, you know, the funny little thing is it was written, directed, and performed by Michael Landon. Yes. La Michael Landon, huh? Where did he land in? Well, he landed here. He had a job to do. He's always had a job to do. He is your prince. He is, uh, I'm not saying Michael Landon is your prince. I'm saying Michael is your prince. Okay. Michael Landon is dead, by the way, if you didn't know. But what we found is, okay, it was, uh, some magazine or, go. I, I don't remember what, but I, he had 22 listings. The only one to beat him was Lucille Ball. Lucy Ball. I love Lucy. Lucy. Lucifer. Lucille. Understand? Do you get it? And I'm not saying Lucille Ball is Lucifer. I'm saying Lucy is Lucifer. Her name is not Lucy currently, but she is in flesh currently. So I'm not going to give you any bones. This is what happened. Lucille Ball, Lucifer beat Michael by one. She had 23, he had 22. <laughs> Can't make it up, man. Like, this is history, dude. I didn't write this. We just found it and looked at it and all that kind of stuff. So, stop it, dogs. Knock it off. So, here's the significance of that to me. Knock it off, dogs. I'm telling you again. Don't. Go away. My bone. My bone, man. Go on. I run this yard. I do. It's not yours, sir. Here. Doe. You can have it, girl. Go somewhere, boy. And that's how I run my yard, okay? You want to growl and be mean to everybody? I'm going to run you off and take it away from you. 
And that's what happens on this channel. You want to be mean? I'll run you off. I don't want to have. I want nothing to do with that crap. I've let that go my whole life. I'm not doing it no more. It's time to stand up. Michael's gonna stand soon. I'm telling you guys about him. I'm letting you know. Hollywood beat him every which way they could. So, here's the significance of Lucille Ball to me. Lucy, I love Lucy. She was a loudmouth redhead that did everything against what her husband, Ricky Ricardo, said. Now, if you guys don't know, Loso's dad, his name is Ricky Ricardo. Coincidence? I don't know. I'm just telling you a story. That's my dog, man. Get it? These are my dogs. I'm outside with the dogs. No bones. The boss has bones. But a loudmouthed, red-headed woman did everything her husband said not to. And we all thought it was funny. I loved Lucy, too. I'm not talking crap about the, the people, okay? Don't hear... You have to hear what I'm telling you. I'm not talking about the show. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about what it did to our, to our world. It flipped it from the way it was made. Women now want to be in charge. And there's a reason for that, okay? And that's why I gotta tell you guys fully about Lucifer. I really do. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I just wanted to show you the dogs. You know, we went over the four. I got one more coat to do. So, apparently four wasn't enough. There's more to the story. A whole lot more. Like, a lot. Well, it's done. When that wormwood hits that sweet spot. Oh yeah, see the reflection? Oh yeah, watch this. Still moving a little bit, but we're done. I'm not a bully. These guys are bullies. He's a bully. She's a bully. They're bullies. I just keep peace on this yard. That's all I've ever done. When I'm not here, the dogs like to mess around. When I'm here, they know better, huh? Yeah, you do. I know you do. Because they know. See, dogs are way smarter than you give them credit for. Huh, low so. That's why he won't hardly ever look at the camera. Yep. Damn dirty dogs. Well, I've been outside with the dogs for a long time. I love them. I do. That's my boy. He knows that. Let's go talk about Lucifer. This is going to get deep for some of you. She's only mentioned once in the entire Bible. You know, there's only other one other name mentioned once in the entire Bible. And that's Lilith. Lilith and Lucifer. Huh. We need to figure out who they are. They're only mentioned one time. So there's got to be more to the story than what the highlight reel is telling you. Well, I'll tell you what I've been shown and told. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. If you like it, cool. If not, cool. It doesn't matter whether you like it or not. Do you understand that? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. You're not judging me. You're judging you. Do what you want, man. I don't care. It's not me you have to answer to. I'm just telling you guys stories. Hate me all you want to. Peace out, homie.
I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. When in doubt, burn it out, right? That's right, because that's what he's going to do. All of the idols are going to be burned and leveled and destroyed in this country. That's what he's telling me. You have a choice, is what I'm telling you. Be a part of the fire, or make your own. Get rid of your idols. Stop worshipping false gods. He, he is one. You are only to worship him. No ifs, ands, or buts. And that's that. The beginning and the end. Even though the story is going to be continued. Do you guys know when this fire is over, my dogs sift through the ashes? Sometimes even while they're still hot. To find any little bits of flesh or bone that might be left in any of the trash. Yeah, that's right. That's what dogs do. Mine sift through the fire. They're waiting. They want it to cool off. It's still got a wide ways, boys. Set the stool on fire today. Or a stool, a step stool. No more step stools, kids. You're on your own. How about that? I'm going to keep telling you a story, but you're on your own. It's time to grow up. Get up, stand up, do what's right. No more step stool, children. None. I'm just your American bully. specifically um and then we'll get into lilith i mentioned lilith but we'll get into her later um so for lucifer you know i've said before she is god's ex-wife and i told you guys from the per from the start that this story has a purpose so yes it is a story of sin yes it is a story of darkness but it has a light at the end of the tunnel do you understand i did a video months ago about chaos you know coming or being here um you know the god of chaos i think was supposed to have uh, been around March 6th or something like that. So just weird stuff always out there, right? Now, take it with a grain of salt like anything, you know. If salt has no flavor, then you cast it out. So, you know, sometimes I try to get creative with the titles, but I'm talking about 503C, church, 503C churches here. And additionally, what Lucifer's done to the churches, okay? So I got to explain Lucifer in the garden for you. All right, so Lucifer was God's ex-wife. She did not tempt Adam on his own. She knew who he was. I went over that in the last video. He was Michael in flesh. God and Michael created Adam, the first Hebrew, um, inside the Garden of Eden, inside, okay? And that's what's going to be New Jerusalem at the end, understand? But this is a story of sin. It's from where it started and where it's going to end, from the inside, inside out. Okay. Our world right now is upside down. Well, I'm telling you, it's inside out. Heaven's inside. The earth is hollow. There's plenty of movies and stories and whatever you can. I'm not going to speculate with you. Okay. Until they take me up and I'm able to see it with my own eyes. I'm sticking with the earth is hollow. Okay. Now that means there's a sun inside. He is. He's already inside. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And I told you before, he's going to make your bodies for you. They're going to be bodies of light that are just beautiful. Okay. I'm not going to get into that all right now. That's for another time. Another story. You'll have to subscribe for all those stories. I've got a lot of stories to tell. I've been listening for 40 years of my life. I like to be by myself. I really do. I have a family. I have a lot of dogs. But the truth is, in order to heal... The only way that you can do that is to take time, set it aside, and give it to the Father, the living Father, the one in heaven, okay? He gave you a way to do that. His son taught you how. He taught you how to pray. He's inside too. He is the shepherd of all shepherds. See, in the flock inside, there's no uh, wolves that we need to worry about because the son inside is a big, badass wolf. That's right. I'm the boy who cried wolf. That's right. I am. Well... It happened before me. See, there was another who cried wolf first, and that was Lucifer. So, Lucifer was God's ex-wife. She tempted Eve, her daughter, in the garden. 
See, when dad said, don't eat the fruit, mom said, yeah, it's okay, go ahead. It, you won't die. And she lied to her daughter. She, she started the sin. So the fruit, as much as you may wanna, not want to hear this, uh, it was sex. Lucifer was androgynous, which means male-female. That's why the Bible always says he, okay? But it's a she. And it'll make more sense later down in the story. If you're a woman, don't hate me. You just need to listen. Women have been running their mouths for a long time now. I've been sitting back and watching it. I've been letting it happen to me myself. I had to come out of darkness too. Well, so, yeah, that's right. There was serpent seed and the woman seed. So Lucifer was a the most beautiful. I mean, it was God's ex-wife, God's wife. Why wouldn't she be the most beautiful? Absolutely. And she was incredibly powerful, okay? And I'll explain that story for you at another time. We're not getting into all that today. That's on a deeper level. That, we'll save that for next story. So Lucifer had sex with Eve and impregnated Eve. And then Eve convinced Adam to have sex with her and he impregnated her also. It's possible, guys, dual sires. You can do it in dogs, it can happen in people, it's possible. It's what happened. Serpent seed, woman seed. Two, like two separate seeds. See it? Eleven. Two. So, God said, I'm going to put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. And her seed will bruise your head, and your seed will bruise its heel. Okay? All right, well, this has been a holy family war. I told you guys that um, in a couple back. You're in a, a holy family war. We're all family. I don't care what color you are. I don't care uh, what language you speak what language you read, what Bible you read. Um, what I do care about is that you do three things correctly. And I am going to read for you today Deuteronomy 29 and 30. And they are very important. We're not going to skip that today. That is, the, that is what is going to save you. It is the wormwood. And I am taking it upon myself to deliver that message to you. When he put the table in my lap, because I, I, I tried to refuse. I didn't know it was Wormwood. I wanted to refuse. And I finally, you know, he convinced me to do it. Not Chris, God. God convinced me to do it. This is his work. He's just using me, guys. I am a tool, a clay figure made of dust. The spirit is inside of us all. He is inside every one of us. We know the story of Cain and Abel before. I already have told you some about that. There's more to that story too. But, you know, I'm not going to continue down the line right now. What we're going to do is we're going to skip ahead now to the light son, the large black man that you guys call Jesus, and what role Lucifer, Lucifer played and what role he played on this earth. All right, so when Yeshua came and walked this earth, okay, he was testifying against his mother. He was the final nail in the coffin, so to speak. Do you understand this? Now, he was flogged, torn apart, beaten, spit on, ripped apart for you, hung up on a pole. Yeah, it's storos, so pole. Whether that's a vertical or a cross, who cares? If you guys are arguing about that, you're well, then you're worshiping an idol, aren't you? That idol around your neck, that symbol on your head, that symbol on your hand, all those things you're doing, guess what? Those are marks of the beast. Yeah. Because you're worshiping the Son, not the Father. Not the living Father. The Father who he said is greater than I. If you have seen me, you've seen the Father. Well, that's because they were identical to each other. Duh. All right, so he came to testify against mom, Lucifer. So when Yeshua was tempted, right? Satan, Lucifer, came to him and said, you know, I will give you all of these kingdoms and all you have to do is bow down and do one act of worship to me and everything you see is yours. Like everything, it's all yours, son. Well, Yeshua, see, he had two offers on the table. He had the offer from his father who was, son, I need you to go do a job. 
I need you to stand up and, you know, we have to testify in public, in the court of law, to everyone that your mother is guilty of sin. And, you know, after that, she's going to be bound for a thousand years. Then she'll be let go for a while, you know. Um, and we'll go over the rest of the story later. So his testifying was him dying and being resurrected. That took the power of death, okay? Took it away. It should have taken your fear away, but it didn't. And all of, the, all of you who are worshiping the Son, why are you afraid to die? Why are you afraid of everything around you? Every single little thing and the things you can't see, but yet you don't fear him that you can't see. Why is that? See, he's been sending you strong delusions for a very, very long time. It's time for you guys to wake up. It's time for you to come out into the light. Let it shine on you. Don't be afraid of the dark, but come out in the light. The dark is your past. You need to pin that with him. He died for your sins. Now you have one job to do. Well, three. You are to worship the Father, believe in his Son, and do not deny his Holy Spirit who's coming to you. It is the Spirit of truth. Now I'm going to continue later. You know, we're going to talk more about, um, well, the Son and his glorification and, you know, why he left when he did. You remember at first he told the first ones he saw not to touch him until because he hadn't been to the Father. But later, he let them touch him. That's because he got his glorified body from the Father. And then at that point, he started to turn into a wolf. The biggest, baddest wolf you have ever seen. He will protect his flock by destroying all those who even attempt to hurt them. That is the power of this wolf. He will huff and puff and blow the house down. Oh yeah. That's right. Three little pigs. Come on, guys. Look at it all. Everything you see in Hollywood is backwards. Our world is upside down. Genesis 3.16. You know, I mentioned to you guys that in the video that they want all the desire, okay? And that was the job of Lucifer was to turn all the men, or excuse me, all the women against the men. That was her job. Absolutely. Deny your husband, and <laughs> worship me. That's what she wanted. So Genesis 3.16 says, and this is God speaking to Eve, okay? And this is after they sinned. So this was the curse that he put upon her. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee. Well, in today's world, is it, is it the men that are being desired truly? Not really when you look around. You know, I, I told you guys in, in the animal kingdom, it's the males who are the most beautiful. Yeah. They're the ones that are all colored, pretty, done, you know, like tie-dye. I'm not trying to be pretty. That just happened to be the shirt for today. But nice, pretty colors, right? Big, nice hair, whatever it is of that species. Generally, the male was more attractive. Well, in our species, it seems to be the opposite, especially in the way we act. And that is because of Lucifer. She is the great whore of Babylon that did all of this. Okay. She is going to be put on her knees and made to repent by Michael. Yes, that's right. Because she still has a job to do and finish. So when the son died for you, yeah, for you, when he died for you, he sealed the deal. It was over. She was imprisoned for a thousand years. Guys, okay, so Christ came around, uh, well, he died around 33 AD is the belief. Okay, well, he returned in 66 AD. Yeah. The first rapture already happened. Okay. See, it even tells you in the scripture, when he died, the dead rose from the graves. They rose, they rose from the graves. Where did those dead go? That was a first resurrection. Why don't you see this? First resurrection. That was it. 
It says that those that had part in that first resurrection, the second death has no power. Oh, are you awake yet? Guys, he came for them already. That was in our, uh, we don't even know what year it is. Go look that crap up. But in our globe, we're 2,000 years away from that. Almost. What, like hmm, 11, 12 years shy? So if he died in 33, well, she served a thousand years. She was let out, guys. She was let out. And I'm told she was let out on good behavior. She repented a long time ago. This woman in flesh currently doesn't know who she is. Or maybe she does. I don't know. I don't know her personally. I know who she is. But I don't know her personally. So I don't think she knows, though. We'll know soon enough. But she already repented, okay? So, much like a sentence. You know how you can get let off on good behavior, right? Well, she repented. God, God is not unmerciful. He said he would destroy death and Hades and all those things in the lake of fire. Death itself is gone. Why would God do a plan of darkness if there wasn't light? Why would he have his creations do things that are wrong and bad if there wasn't a redemption plan at the end for them? Come on now. Everybody plays a purpose. Everybody plays a role. Everybody has a part. We are all actors in the greatest story ever told. That's right. That's right. You're part of it. Me too. Why do you think I've been smiling again? You can hate me. I don't care. It's cool. He already said, the world hated me. Therefore, it will hate you too. Hate you too. So I fully expect you to hate me. That's why I use a lot of his words, because you guys, okay, the Jews don't listen to him, and the Christians don't truly believe him, or you guys wouldn't have fear, and the Mormons are caught, you know, we're all over the globe. <laughs> we're all over this hollow earth. All over. Everybody's spinning in circles. Well, time's going to speed up, so everything's going to go faster and faster and faster, okay? But then, that's because time is stopping, and there's way more to this story. Guys, he gave you clear signs all through his word, okay? He gave them to you. He came and fulfilled most of it once. Yeah, he sent a son to do that. Well, there's a dark son, Michael. He has a dirty job to do. He is the destroyer, the deliverer. Then you have Abaddon, Apollyon, all those things in the book of Revelation. Have you guys ever opened your Bible? Hmm. So if you go back through time, if you include the book of Enoch and all the books that are missing, they tell you about the sun. Then the Bible foreshadows the sun, right? Then the sun came. Then he tells you more of what's going to happen, right? And he says, I go and prepare a place. My father has many mansions. If it were not so, I would not tell you these things. Well, it's a mountain of crystal, not a big cube, Jews, that are worshiping and having sex with the wailing wall. I know what you're doing. It's dirty now. You're dirty. You are a dirty damn dog. Straight up. I'm not anti-Semite. I'm not anti-Jew. I'm anti-whatever you are doing. Wow. That's right. I'm anti-all that. You guys look like a bunch of abominations standing in places of desolations already. I'm your wormwood, baby. It's all gonna burn. Um, today we need to cover some scripture in De Deuteronomy 29 and 30. And both of those chapters are very important. They completely tie into everything I've been telling you guys about Wormwood a lot outside of the box with the story, but I need to bring you back to God's word as well. And you need to understand how important this is. So today let's go to, and I'm reading in the revised King James version. So you will see the name uh, Lord has been replaced with YHVH in this version. Um, I'm just going to say Yah, okay, so that nobody debates me on God's name right now. I don't want to get into that. But let's read his word, guys. Listen. Apply it to you. It's wormwood. But I'm telling you, if you don't, well, just listen. These are the words of the covenant which Yah commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, beside the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. And Moses called unto Israel and said unto them, Ye have seen all that Yah did before your eyes in the land of Egypt unto Pharaoh, and unto all his servants, and unto all his land the great temptations which thine eyes have seen, 
the signs and those great miracles. Yet Yah hath not given you a heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear, unto this day. And I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxen old upon you, and thy shoe is not waxen old upon thy foot. You have not eaten bread, neither have you drunk wine or strong drink, that ye might know that I am Yah your Elohim. But when ye came into this place, Sihon the king of Heshbon, and Og the king of Bashan, came out against us in a battle, and we smote them. And we took their land and gave it for an inheritance unto the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh. Keep therefore the words of this covenant, and do them, that ye may prosper in all that ye do. Ye stand this day, all of you, before Yah your Elohim, your captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, with all the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, and thy stranger that is in thy camp, from the hewer of thy wood unto the drawer of thy water, that thou shouldest enter into a covenant with Yah thy Elohim, and into his oath, which Yah thy Elohim maketh with thee this day, that he may establish thee today for a people unto himself, and that he may be unto thee a Elohim, as he hath said unto thee, and ha as he hath sworn unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Neither with you only do I make this covenant and oath, and this oath. Neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath, but with him that standeth here with us this day, before Yah our Elohim, and also with him that is not here with us this day. Did you hear that? And also with him that is not here with us this day. For ye know how we have dwelt in the land of Egypt, and how we came through the nations which ye passed by. And ye have seen their abominations, and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold which were among them. Lest there should be among you man or woman, or family or tribe, whose heart turneth away this day from Yah our Elohim, to go and serve the Elohim of these nations, lest there should be among you a root that beareth gall and wormwood. And if it come to pass, when he heareth the words of this curse, that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the imagination of mine heart, to add drunkenness to thirst. Yah will not spare him, but then the anger of Yah and his jealousy shall smoke against that man, and all the curses that are written in this book shall lie upon him, and Yah shall blot out his name from under heaven. And Yah shall separate him unto evil out of all the tribes of Israel, according to all the curses of the covenant that are written in this book of the law. So that, genera so that the generation to come of your children that shall rise up after you, and the stranger that shall come from a far land, shall say, when they see the plagues of that land, and the sicknesses which Yah hath laid upon it, and that the whole land thereof is brimstone, and salt, and burning, that it is not sown, nor beareth, nor any grass groweth therein, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboam, which Yah overthrew in his anger and in his wrath. Even all nations shall say, Wherefore hath Yah done this unto this land? What meaneth the heat of this great anger? Then men shall say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of Yah, Elohim their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. For they went and served other Elohim and worshipped them, Elohim whom they knew not, and whom he had not given unto them. For the anger of Yah was kindled against this land, to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book. And Yah rooted them out of their land in anger, and in wrath, and in great indignation, and cast them into another land, as it is this day. The secret things belong unto Yah our Elohim, but those things which are revealed belong unto us, and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all, of, all the nations, whither Yah, whither Yah thy Elohim hath driven thee, and shalt return unto Yah thy Elohim, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thy, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. Then, that then Yah thy Elohim will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither Yah thy Elohim hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the uttermost parts of the heaven, from thence will Yah thy Elohim gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And Yah thy Elohim will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good, and multiply thee above thy fathers. And Yah thy Elohim will circumcise thine heart, and the heart of thy seed, to love Yah thy Elohim with all thine heart, with all thy soul that thou mayest live. 
and Yah thy Elohim will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of Yah, and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. And Yah thy Elohim will make thee plenteous, plenteous in every work of thine hand, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of the, thy land for good. For Yah will again rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Yah thy Elohim, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law, and if thou turn unto Yah thy Elohim with all thine heart and with all thy soul. For this commandment, which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that thou shouldst say, We shall go up, who shall go up for us to, to heaven, and to bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldst say, Who shall go over the sea for us, and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it. But the word is very nigh unto thee, in thy mouth and in thy heart, that thou mayest do it. See, I have set before thee this day life and good, and death and evil. In that command thee this day to love Yah thy Elohim, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, and his statutes, and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. And Yah thy Elohim shall bless thee in the land, whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away, and worship other Elohim, and serve them, I denounce unto you this day, that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whither thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set forth before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou mayest love Yah thy Elohim, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life, and the strength of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land of Yah. Swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Guys, I've told you before, he is going to give us the wings of an eagle. We need to hope that soon we see the root of David and the bright morning star. So, that's a topic for another time because everybody is confusing that verse in Scripture as well. That's right. From the beginning to the end, from Genesis to Revelation, and before, Book of Enoch, Jasher, Jubilees, Dead Sea Scrolls, all of those different documents. There's enough evidence. Does the knowledge that you have, is it enough to stand up in court? Let's train.